Today, we are here to present to you our project, Latent Organism. Latent Organism takes advantage of generative algorithm to let anyone produce unique and complex 3D shapes using a tangible interface. Our work invites a dialogue between humans and AI, leading to a collaborative creation of 3D forms. Today, we use generative machine learning models in many ways. They help us to make music, text, pictures, videos, and even 3D models. These smart systems used to be only in labs or big tech companies, but now they are part of your daily tools, making creation more accessible. But these tools can be hard to control. Whether it's typing comments or clicking on a screen, it's not always easy to do what we want. It can be especially hard for tasks that need a lot of precision. For example, a lot of interfaces use text as input. This way, the user has to explain what they want in natural language. Depending on the type of content being created, it's not always easy to clearly express our ideas. And sometimes, language isn't the best way to communicate what we have in mind. So we need to find new ways to work with this new tool. We need methods that feel more natural and flexible. Latent Organism is designed to address the lack of embodiment in human-AI collaboration. The way we create 3D shapes has been transformed. In the past, our tools were our hands and the raw materials we could shape like clay for pottery or a stone for sculptures. This required not only skill and patience, but also a deep understanding of the field, a know-how. Today, we have the option of using AI-powered tools to help us invent shapes. It's a significant shift because we're no longer the sole craftsmen, we've become co-creators with AI. Typically, this co-creation process involves back and forth between the AI, which generates propositions, and the user, who approves, modifies, and responds to these suggestions. The human no longer directly controls the movement that creates the shape. That's why the interface with these new tools plays a key role in how we gradually explore the machine's imagination. AI introduces new levels of complexity and the usability of these new tools often varies in controllability. With Latent Organism, our project addresses the need for a more embodied approach to human-AI collaboration. Unlike most generative model systems, our interface has a biological, flesh-like appearance, creating a tangible link between the user and the imagination of the machine. The feedback loop between the user and the machine is immediate. We can instantly make corrections through tests and trials. This allows the development of know-how through practice. An artistic movement that influenced our work is the Brazilian Neo Concrete, which conceived artworks as living organisms, in particular Lydia Clark's 3D sculptures were not static, but manipulable uh, instead. Indeed, they were designed to be reshaped by the viewer at will, creating unique and lessly changing forms. The idea of making AI tangible and embodied was greatly inspired by Mika Satomi of Cobacant, who developed a wearable analog artificial neural network that is um, an e-textile garment that learns from the user's movement in real time and physicalizes the synaptic connection of the neural network with embroidered uh, optic fibers. At its core, our system is a blend of physical interaction and machine learning. Latent Organism is a tangible interface that invites users to manipulate a virtual 3D form 
directly derived from an AI's imagination. Now, let's delve into the specific parts of the artwork. Latent organism is composed of an e-textile covered controller for AI generated visuals, a handcrafted embroidery created from silicon and fabric is embedded with 10 piezoresistive sensors. These pressure sensor matrices are made from fabric, conductive paint and velostat, and they are integrated into the structure of a beanbag chair. The generative aspect of our project is built on Dreamfield, a model trained to create a link between text and 3D. This model can generate a corresponding 3D shape and texture from a given text input. The process begins with several textual prompts. They are generated by an embedding model trained on an encyclopedia of life. These prompts are used as inputs for a Dreamfields model, which generates 3D meshes from them. For each generated mesh, a blend shape is calculated, allowing a seamless transition between the initial shape and the new one. These blend shapes are controlled by the sensors of the artwork's physical interface, responding to user interactions. Multiple blend shapes can be cross-faded simultaneously, adding an extra dimension of complexity to the mesh deformation. Our systems feature the feedback mechanism that updates the prompts based on the user's choices at regular intervals, while keeping some randomness to avoid repetitive patterns. Since its creation in August 21 for the Créartaton, a workshop organized by INRIA, our installation has continually evolved and has been refined following the advancements in the state of the art. With each new release of 3D generation model, we try to update and expand the range and style of renderings that our artwork can generate. The public exhibitions in France and England improved our projects. Interacting with agencies over time helped us to refine our work. We discovered that interaction varies greatly among individuals. From the playfulness of children to the careful evaluation of adults, for some, it's a meditative experience. Others opt for a more active approach, open to explore the tool's potential. And this is the first version of our work, created during a workshop run by INRIA in 2021. At that time, there were not that much um, generative uh, 3D AI model. So we used um, Ganverse 3D by NVIDIA and at that time we created uh, basic 3D renderings and simple transformations. We created this um, piece with Marianne Canu and Sophie Chen. Afterwards we had the chance to showcase our artwork at uh, three exhibition, including one in London at the Extended Sense Symposium in 2022. The 3D renderings here are more detailed and this time we use the text-to-mesh model. Our latest version of the work um, is based on a, a more recent model, Dreamfields, here are two examples of blend shapes that we are able to generate and we are trying to incorporate more powerful models to achieve more complex rendering. And a few weeks ago we exhibited this artwork in a virtual gallery where the generated 3D shape of dream fields were showcased in the virtual gallery of Creativity and Cognition Conference. To broaden the discussion, latent organism empowers people to master the AI imagination. 
as they interact with and explore this bin bag chair, they gradually get an intuition of the cartography of the Latin space. This artwork aims to develop a new kind of expertise, a craftsmanship of artificial imagination modeling. This is particularly relevant in the case of manipulating a high level of complexity system, such as generative 3D, um, that is usually non-graspable and opaque for non-expert user. This resonates with Gilbert Simondon's call for a technical culture that fosters a genuine awareness of technical realities. In our case, we believe that embodied interaction and this perception of AI technicity, as opposed to the so-called black box, can enhance human creativity. Furthermore, in latent organism, a double learning process takes place. On the one hand, we have this new expertise that individuals develop towards the AI system. And on the other hand, the interface gets to know the audience and adapts to them, trying to suggest the formation similar to the ones they interact with the most. In this way, we can say that creativity emerges in this feedback loop between the human and AI as they both learn from each other, they co-create in a balanced relationship. Last but not least, the resulting mesh created from one user's interaction serves as the base shape for the next user. Over time, the continuously evolving form becomes a living testament to the cumulative interaction of all participants. To this extent, Latent Organism is a collective participatory artwork mm. akin to the um, organic sculpture by Michel Blasi that are built upon the accumulated input of its visitors. Latent Organism acquires a collective meaning through the accumulation of user memory. Latent Organism is a tool that proposes an intuitive co-creation process merging the worlds of human creativity and artificial imagination. It is an attempt to transform the process of 3D shape generation into a non-bodied experience and to explore the potential that lies within human intuition and artificial intelligence. Thank you for your time.